Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Marshall with Red Carpet Report, and we are at Paramount Pictures for the Veterans Day Got Your Six event. <laughs> Hi, Joel. Thank you so much for joining us. Can, can you talk a little bit about Got Your Six certification and what it meant for your show, Lone Target, or Manhunt Internationally? It was, uh, the Got Your Six certification is a recognition from uh, a coalition of veterans and Hollywood bigwigs uh, in conjunction with Michelle Obama to recognize and to uh, uh, facilitate veterans reintegrating back into society after uh, decades at war. Um, not just in the film and television industry, but it's a film and television industry reaching out to all veterans. And being that my show, Lone Target, Manhunt, was six certified this year is incredibly exciting because that says to me that people recognize that we're showing an accurate and uh, just a, a solid view of, of who we are and what we do and our capabilities uh, and not falling into a stereotype of the broken veteran or the, the solo hero. Uh, uh, and, and that's important to me. Now, for the veterans who may be watching but haven't seen the show, could you give us a quick soundbite about what the show's about? Sure. Uh, well, the show is uh, me inserting into foreign countries, crossing their borders, piercing their security, skydiving in places I'm not supposed to be, <laughs> coming in over the horizon uh, across the beach, um, breaking their security, letting them know, um, know I'm there, and then uh, they bring all of their assets to bear to take me down. The, um, uh, border patrols, uh, specialty tracking units, uh, special operations forces, and they hunt me, track me, and try to take me down before I make a designated extract point anywhere from 36 to 48 hours away. And uh, I do anti-tracking, counter-tracking, booby traps, everything I can to try to stay alive and stay moving while they try to take me down. It's, it's a rush. So how do you feel veterans may be watching the show thinking, that's really cool what he's done with his life, um, that's really inspiring. Do you like that you may be a role model to some vets? And please don't say you're not a role model because <laughs> you definitely are to a lot of people. That's flattering, you know, and I've always been of the opinion that um, the best leaders are ones that are just forging their own path. And so all I want to do is just forge my own path and try to do that as with as much integrity to myself and my tribe, where I come from, as possible. And the two things that always were most important to me, the reactions I got for the show, was one, the little kids, when they got their imaginations fired up and were playing manhunt, lone target in the yard and learning <laughs> tracking. And I got pictures on Instagram from parents with their kids setting booby traps for them in their house. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. And the other thing that's most important to me is when the SEAL teams, when my brotherhood said, you're doing good, brother, and that's that's okay, and you're showing us the way we want to be seen. That uh, That's humbling, and that's important, because those are the guys that I look up to the most, and I'm most humbled and proud to be able to stand with. They're exceptional men, and being one of them is a, the greatest thing that's ever happened in my life. Thank you so much for your service to this country and for your service to other veterans. It was a privilege. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more interviews, and comment below with your favorite branch of the military. Clearly, it's the Navy. Bye, guys. For more information on Got Your Six, go to gotyoursix.org. For more information on how to hire veterans currently working in the entertainment industry, visit Veterans in Film and Television at vftla.org.